Hi guys, and here are our choices for my new carry gun. Which one do you think I should choose? We've got the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. This is a new top of the line model with night sights with the front orange night sight, which is my preferred and optics ready if I ever wanted to do that. So that's awfully nice. The car CW45 and a Gen 1 Delta and a Gen 1 A-Rex Delta, 15 plus 1 or 17 plus 1, or P10C magazines. Uh, originally 6 plus 1, but you can do 7 plus 1 or 8 plus 1. Uh, 7 plus 1 McGar, no modification. 8 McGar, slightly modified, or you can do 8 round shooting star that's in it right now, and I've had no problems with that. Shield Plus is either 13 plus 1, how I would carry it, or... 10 plus 1. So which one do you think that I should carry or should I make them all in my rotation? This one has the wonderful XS R3D night sights. You just code Dan the Wolfman to get 10% off your first order. This one, unfortunately, I wouldn't carry at night probably because it doesn't have a night sight. I just filled in that front white with a little orange, bright orange nail polish and I waited until I could get a orange night sight on this. I do have a video where I rented it exactly one year ago when it came out and my top five micro nine millimeter video you might want to check out. But let's see how these three do compared to each other for me. Results so far off camera with the new Shield Plus. Everything is a tiny bit left to me. That's probably because I'm left eye dominant, uh, dominant right hand shooter and maybe the rear sight's not exactly centered and the way the trigger breaks for me because I did rent it a year ago and that was the same uh, way. But this is seven yards uh, stuff, 124, 115 brass, 115 aluminum, perfect functioning. And then I'm doing, you know, multiple attacker drills uh, three yards while moving back, seven yards, moves and beaks, um, double tap, double tap, double tap, left to right, double tap, double tap, t double tap, right to left. So the Shield Plus is doing really good so far, and it does seem to be slightly uh, more comfortable while seated compared to the other two. All right, guys, here at the range, going to start doing some realistic drills here with the CW45 Shooting Star Mag 8 Plus 1. I'm running 185 in it, actually for the first time other than hollow points. Because originally I would carry it with 185 plus P hollow points, and that's the ammo I wanted to use today. So I'm going to um, start in it from a leather uh, holster, relentless tactical generic. Slower on the draw, but that is a benefit from this pistol. Is for a long dinner, it's a little more comfortable than a Kydex holster. Or I just found out I can carry it in a Tolster uh, Glock 19 holster. Seems to be perfect. I'll do that later probably. So three yards confronted three guys going to your car and they can approach him in and they're right there and then it's on. So you're doing a retreat drill. I'll probably just drop uh, double tap center left right. Okay. First time shooting 45 today. Shooting this today. So here. Hey dude. I don't want trouble. Oh, what's up, guys? Ah! Pick up! Okay, and that's the first 45 I've shot in quite a while. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. First guy, perfect double tap A zone. I like that. Second guy, I over-muscled on the recoil. Still A zone, but a little too low. I don't love that shot. Right bad guy. A zone, high upper thoracic, perfectly centered, hit this would hit the spine, and they're also a great shot. So one out of six shots a little too low for me. Not bad with CW45. Uh, now let's run it with the Eric's Delta. So guys, the purpose of this is ABC is always full. Your ABC is always be carrying. Now gonna run it with the Arex Delta Gen 1 uh, with a uh, night sight from Access. Use code Dan the Wolfman, get 10% off your first order. And now I'm gonna run this. The reason why I'm trying to get to a 20 to 22 ounce lightweight, thin one to 1.1 inch pistol that works for me, even though I'm a big guy and been getting, my belly's been getting bigger uh, since you know, knee problems and uh, knee surgery for appendix carry. Uh, since I carry two guns at work all the time and I carry Lately, I've just been carrying my back up in the pocket. Sometimes lazy off-duty. I want something easier that I can go here than a thick pistol. So that's the reason for this. these three comparisons for me. All right, here we go. Look up!
All right, let's check our hits and always check your six for trailers. Trailers. Perfect on center lead bad guy. There and there and centered on the spine as you see it behind. Left bad guy, pretty perfect there. Here and one a little low, but that's good. Still long there. Perfect on the first one would hit the spine as well. And this guy would probably hit the spine or at least near it enough to cause a little nerve sensation. And there as well. So really good with the Air X Delta. All right, let's run the Shield Plus. New pistol shield plus time a little bit uh, more comfortable while seated because everything is rounded up in the beaver tail and the grip and everything. So only 3.1 inch barrel versus 4 in the Eric's Delta versus 3.6264 on the CW45. Uh, but maybe a little easier to carry right now in our design. Okay, uh, kind of got a bad draw. Let's check the hits. Actually, guys, I was kind of point shooting, extension shooting, shooting over the top of the sights, seeing the orange front. That's why orange front night sights have become my favorite for carry or maybe a fiber optic. Uh, very good here. Very, very good here. And, whoa, very, very good there. So... You know, Shield Plus is very capable if you got good ammo. Under three and a half inch barrels, you really want a 124 HST, a 124 plus BHST, my favorite. Or nowadays, if that's all you can find at the big box stores, is 124 punch. So under three and a half inch barrels, you got to be more careful about ammo selection. Which one do you think is the best? Five yards, CW45, Tolster G19 holster. Oh, hey guys, I don't want to kill man. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. I'm sorry, man. Big up! No lockback with perfect function. Uh, did seem a bit slow there. Did seem a bit slow. Let's see your hits. Well, the hits I'm perfectly happy with. This guy's done. And headshot, right eyeball. This guy's too perfect upper thoracic. Heart, lung area. Right eyeball. And this guy's too perfect. Upper thoracic. And right in the nose. Just below the T-box. Just a little bit low. So good on the CW45. Delta's turning. Yes, it's got a P10 mag in it. No problems. Oh, what's up, guys? Hey, man. I want to kill him. I want to kill him. Big up! I forgot I was going for the heads there, so just a little beat in there, but hey, we'll see how we did. All right, so one perfect, one not so perfect. That's not great unless you got lucky you got the artery, but that's not great. Perfect here. There and there. Headshot there. Headshot right eyeball there. Headshot T-box there. And two on top of each other on the spine. So perfect there. So one shot that wasn't exactly perfect. I kind of point shot that one just over the sights. But not bad. The Eric's Delta. All right. Now the Shield Plus is turning. Really loving it. Just wish that it had accelerator cutouts in it. Modern pistols should have that. I might have to put grip tape on it. But then it comes off in the holster and scratches up your slide and stuff. I've done that with a few. You got to figure out what's most important. And I'm running uh, two different types of generic call points, 115 and 124. To get them all function, it's the ammo, not the pistol. Though it's been perfect with everything I've fed it so far. This is before I try some 124 plus PHSTs for carry ammo. All right. Here we go. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, what do you guys want? I don't want any trouble, man. I don't want any trouble. Pick up! Wow, it feels so fast. This is a light pistol. This felt, to me at least, and I didn't go on a timer today, sorry. In the future, it wasn't charged up. I need to charge it up. Um, it felt very, very fast. Uh, it snaps right back down, just like I said in my initial review of it when I read it one a year ago. Uh, I hope the hits are good, because it, it's like, bam, right back down. I, I hope the hits are good. This tells me it's really, really capable. Uh, it felt very fast. I felt very secure. I'll buy that for dollar. Everything A-Zone. Perfect.
Perfect, A zone. Headshot just a little bit left. And uh, a, a zone and T box shot there. Shield Plus has been perfect. Which one do you think is the best? CW45, Shield Plus, or the Arex Delta? Let me know in the comments.